Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis. And today guys, I'm going to be bringing you another absolutely insane video over here on the Carnage Clan channel. But before I jump into that, I just want to remind you guys that if you are new to Carnage, be sure to subscribe. We are going to be bringing you guys absolutely insane Black Ops 3 content when the game is released here in just a couple days, guys. We are so close to having this game be released for us and I am so hyped and super excited. And this video that you guys are going to be watching is going to make you even more hyped. Be sure to follow Carnage on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with all the stuff that we bring you guys over here here. Trust me when I say that you guys are definitely going to want to be keeping up to date with all the stuff that we'll be posting over here. And be sure to add Apollo's mission on Snapchat. Apollo, who is our fearless leader, is starting to make more of an effort to integrate Snapchat into the Carnage social media. So be sure to add him. Once again, his name is Apollo's mission. So that would really mean a lot to him if you guys could add him. He's posting some pretty cool stuff over there. But anyways, what you guys are going to be seeing up on your screens right now is brand new Nuketown 2065 gameplay footage. This is absolutely insane. We've known for a long time that Treyarch was going to be bringing back the Nuketown maps that we on Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, and we've known for a long time that it's going to be called Nuketown 2065, but we never really got good gameplay footage. We never got good screenshots like what you'll be seeing right now. All we really had up until this point was an abstract looking picture with a sign in the lower right hand corner that said, Welcome to Nuketown, but now we've got actual gameplay footage, and you guys will be seeing that up on your screens now. Overall, the map looks very similar to what we've seen in the previous Nuketown maps. You have the two buses in the middle, two houses on either side of the map, a car right near the BDOM site, two levels to each house. Overall, the shape and layout of the map is incredibly similar, but what has changed and what Treyarch has recognized is they have changed it to allow for Black Ops 3's new movement system. So you guys are going to be seeing a lot more opportunities to jump up into windows, run along walls. You guys will see a screenshot coming up here pretty soon where you can actually run along a wall over the BDOM site. This is so huge. I don't know about you guys, but if you spawn in the back garden and you'd head over to the left, you'd usually get picked off by a sniper and that was so frustrating. But now you can actually jump up and run along the walls and hopefully make it harder for those snipers to hit you and run up and get closer into the middle of the map. Map. Nuketown, as Treyarch has emphasized multiple times, is the run and gun classic close quarters map. So this is what I really love about Call of Duty personally. I love being able to rush up with an SMG, get right in the enemy's faces, get a ton of kills, and that's exactly what this new Nuketown map is going to allow us to do. Throughout this video, what you guys are going to be seeing is multiple lines of sight that you're probably all very familiar with. Treyarch has managed to stick to the three lane system that we all know and love for pretty much all Call of Duty maps that they've released, and of course for this Nuketown map. So a lot of the peaking spots and a lot of the classic camping spots are still going to be available in this new map, but obviously there's going to be some new tweaks and some things they have changed from the previous versions. We've known that from the Black Ops 1 to the Black Ops 2 version, they did make some slight changes to make the map better. And obviously they're going to be making some huge changes in this one because they've really changed the entire movement system. So anyways, guys, hopefully you all are super excited for Black Ops 3's Nuketown 2065. If you are, please be sure to smack that like button. Really does help the channel grow. If we could try to shoot for a thousand likes on this video, guys, for the official Nuketown 2065 trailer, that would mean a lot to me and all the guys over here at Carnage. And if you guys did enjoy this commentary, be sure to come check out my channel. Link will be in the description below. And if you guys did watch this entire video, be sure to comment down below. Hashtag Nuketown. 2065. That'll let me know that you guys watched this entire video. Like I already said, be sure to follow Carnage Clan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and add Apollo on Snapchat because he would love you forever. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.